G'day, I'm Dr. Kev, and in this video, we tear our heads apart. Welcome to Car Design Workshop. In a previous video, we pulled apart a Subaru EJ20. This was a pretty cheap engine, and we were starting to tear it down so that we could put together a mock-up engine for Project 171. We didn't want to carry all of the weight, or the internal components of the engine, so that we have something that is easy to move around. When we were doing this, we noticed that the heads accounted for 27% of the weight. So in continuing this, we wanted to see what we could lose from the heads, so that we could reduce the weight of our mock-up engine even further. Once again, I'm joined by Harley Olsthorn, and if the Subaru Motors teach us anything, it's that two heads are better than one. Any bright spark will tell you that pulling an engine apart can be pretty exhausting work. So when Harley offered to man the tools, I just went with the flow. We noted in the video where we pulled the engine down that the seller had claimed that the engine was previously running. Now pulling these heads down, we noticed that there was a lot of crud inside the cooling passages, which really indicated that if the engine was running, it was not running well. The camshaft seal was very hard and fried. There didn't appear to be any serious wear in the valve train, but the exhaust valves were absolutely caked with carbon, as were the combustion chambers. Now we're not gonna keep many of these components, mainly the main casing and the retainer for the camshaft, and we'll need to give these a good clean before we assemble the mock-up engine. Now as we did for the full engine, we took all of the components and weighed them. And this information can be used if we end up modeling this head at a later stage so that we can get a really accurate center of gravity location. But frankly, it's just a bit interesting. Once the weights are put together, we can see that the main casting accounts for over 50% of the weight of the head. And if we combine that with the second casting, which was the camshaft retainer, we can see that we're going to end up with about 63% of the weight still in the mock-up engine. Between the two heads though, by removing these internal components, we are going to save nearly about 10 kilos. So we'll have 10 kilos less that we'll need to move around once we've got the mock-up engine. When we did the weights for the engine, we noticed that 3% of the weight of the engine was caught up in fasteners. And we see exactly the same sort of breakdown here for the heads as well. The weights for the two heads of the EJ20 are very similar. So we're really only shown the teardown of one. So as you like and subscribe to this channel, please feel free to use the comments to come up with as many puns about engine teardowns as you can.